Face the front for me, change it around as many times as you like. When you're ready, bring out your hands for me. Go. Excellent. All right, it's not a huge sum, all right? I mean, it's a new suit and shoes for the guy in the front there, let's be frank. <laughs> so, so again, you're literally the first person I saw. So. You look like a tramp. So if I can just bring you around. Here. <laughs> so you're facing down this line here. Amanda, I'm going to ask you very quickly, is it in this hand? Is it in this hand? All you've got to do is just say yes both times. Does that make sense? You're going to say yes both times. So in other words, once you'll be lying, once you'll be telling the truth. Just say yes both times, nice and clearly. Is it in this hand? Is it in this hand? Look at that face. You're very good at this. <laughs> Christ, I'd hate to be in a relationship with you. Um, <laughs> It's the unconscious clue I was looking for. It was the slight nod of the head the first time, no nod the second time, which tells me it's probably in the first one, and that little smile confirms it. So if you'd like to just face the front for me, I'm saying it's this hand here, but just nice and clearly open the hand which contains the coin and show us. There you go. One out of four, back behind your back. We'll do it again. Face the front for me. When you're ready, bring your hands back up. Excellent. All right, now you're in the interesting uh, situation here of... Um, Trying to catch, again, just, just keep, just towards the front like that, thank you. Of trying to catch me out. Now, of course, Amanda knows that what most of you tend to do is to keep it in the same hand the second time. That wasn't her pattern, that's why Amanda carried on standing up while most of you sat down. But she knows that I know that, so she's in this strange position where in order to catch me out, she's got to do the most obvious thing that would seem less obvious. In other words, to keep it in the same hand, even though she knows that I know that's what most of you tend to do. <laughs> so it has to be the same hand a second time. Was that it? Yes, it is. Yes, there you go. Two out of four, right behind your back. We'll do it again. Thank you. Let's just talk this one through now, all right? Uh, you've established a pattern here of keeping it in the same hand. I would now, of course, expect Amanda to keep it in the same hand again, of course. So maybe the way to catch me out now might be to, um, to change hands suddenly and put it in the hand on that side. There is nothing to stop you doing that, apart from the fact I just mentioned it. All right? So you put it in the hand that feels right and leave the hand that's left empty. Okay? When you're ready, bring your hands out for me. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do one thing for me, Amanda. This one thing will tell me the hand that it's in. Now, it's very straightforward. All you're going to do is cross your wrists over. Now, that means you can either do this, or you can do this. It doesn't matter which way, but the longer you take to decide, the easier it is for me to guess. Did you believe that? Good. So, <laughs> most people believe the guilty hand goes... No, cross them back as they were, please. Most people believe the guilty hand goes at the bottom because you'd want to hide the guilty hand out of the way. Yes? Sort of out of the way, specifically because of that. What everybody tends to do is to put the guilty hand at the top because that seems somehow less obvious. <laughs> Again, though, Amanda's doing her best not to appear obvious, so in a way, the most obvious hand, the one at the bottom, seems less obvious because of its overabundance of, of obviousness. <laughs> so it has to be the bottom one. Amanda, nice and clearly, I'm saying it's this one here. Open the hand that contains the coin. Show them the coin in the palm of your hand. Good, one left. Back behind your back. You've got one minute left as well, so back behind your back. Okay, last time, Amanda, for 50 pounds, 50 of your earth pounds. Take your time with it, change it around as secretly as many times as you like. When you're ready, bring your hands out. <laughs> well, I don't normally gamble my entire evening's wages on one game, so are you ready? Okay, let's bring you over this side as well so they can see over there. Okay. All right. Look at me. You will do something now to give this away. I won't tell you what I'm looking for. That's not it. Thank you. <laughs> That's not it either. <laughs> Are you happy doing this, brother? You don't mind doing this in front of three and a half now? Are you happy to do this? You don't feel... Uh, thank you so much. That one there, same one again. Same hands, four times in a row, in fact. Excellent. Thank you very much. I want a pound. And then that, thank you. I want a pound. Thanks for coming. Thanks for supporting the appeal. Cheers. Good night.